going to walk you through one more example of completing this square. And I'm going to do this one rather rapid fire, just sort of taking you through the steps. This one will not have pretty answers, so you can sort of see what it looks like when you get to the end when you don't have pretty answers. So I'm going to solve 3x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0 by completing the square. First step is to add the constant terms to the other side to get it out of the way. My second step is going to be to divide both sides by the x squared coefficient. And that would look like this. That way the completing the square pattern works. Then I'm going to actually complete the square by adding half of the x coefficient squared to both sides, turning the left-hand side into a perfect square trinomial. Now, I'm going to factor the left-hand side using the pattern that completing the square produces. Now, in this case, since this is a plus, the factor will come out with a plus here, plus, plus, and then simplify the right-hand side. That's going to be 40 over 9. So when I get to that, I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and don't forget the plus or minus. So when I take the square root of this thing squared, I get x plus 2 thirds. When I take the square root of 40 over 9, I put the plus or minus on it. And then I simplify this. So the square root of a fraction, you can find by taking the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom. And then the square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of 40 simplifies into 2 root 10. And you should remember how to simplify square roots. We talked about that earlier this year. And then finally, I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to subtract 2 thirds from both sides. And you can either leave it in this form or in this form. There's no preference on my part. Um, but you do need to keep in mind that this right here looks like something that you would get out of the quadratic formula. And we're going to use that to our advantage when we start talking about the quadratic formula tomorrow, because this process is where the quadratic formula comes from. So hopefully that helps.